Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to A2B Gaming, the worst channel on YouTube. Ah! What's up everybody? It's Alex. I'm finally back. COVID got me. It's still really yep. with my lung capacity. Um, I'm trying my best to get through videos Bruh. with energy, but yeah, it's been tough. It's been tough. Um, however, the last couple of weeks have been pretty good. As you can see by the thumbnail, I managed to get a 3060 Ti uh, on a whim. And it was actually me being a sarcastic smartass that managed to get me this card, believe it or not. So, um, story on that real quick is just went to Micro Center for a completely different related issue. Uh, needed to get a, a new motherboard was what I was in there for. And I saw a woman who was maybe in her 50s buying a computer for her kid who was probably, you know, maybe a teenager, maybe tween. And she had a 3060 Ti in her cart. And this was, mind you, like two hours after they opened. I didn't assume they'd have any of these. I figured they'd be sold out like everybody else. So I made a little smart remark, just joking around, playing with her, saying, hey, like, congrats on getting that card. Hope your kid really likes it. <laughs> and then, lo and behold, the guy was like, oh, yeah, we have more of these. We have eight of them. You have eight of these in stock? Okay. Can I see one? And they brought one out and took it home with me. I said, whatever. I'll get a motherboard a different time. So this isn't the card that... I particularly wanted I was going you know I was hoping to save out for like a 3080 or a 3070 but I think this might be the card that I deserve like it truly is I think a huge uplift from my GTX 1070 that I've had for a while now um, it's 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 been a really good card um, played some good games at 1440 you know but uh, overall it's been a really it's lasted a long time like it's been great I didn't see a real good reason to upgrade to something like a 2070 super because the performance uplift for the price just didn't seem quite worth it at the time and with this i i think i really do I, i'm happy with it it's um it's not it's not even the 3060 ti that i wanted i was hoping for maybe a reference design one just because you know aesthetics but whatever um i was hoping if i was going to get a, a board partner one that it would be a Maybe an Asus one, just because I, I have an Asus, you know, motherboard, and I just prefer some of their software and stuff. I'm not a huge fan of like MSI, uh, Dragon Center, and all that kind of shit. But all in all, like I think for this one, this one's fifty dollars more than the reference one, so it's four forty nine ninety nine retail price. Um, I think honestly, at this price point, this will probably be where most people um, go. I think this is the this is the a proper upgrade route from something like a 1070, a 1060, maybe even a 1080, um, just because this thing does perform so well compared to the 20 series cards. Um, I know Nvidia said like it outperforms a 2080 super, and in some of the tests that I've seen, I don't have a 2080 super, so I can't compare it directly myself. That seems to be fairly accurate in what I've been noticing. So I, I tried my best to make a quick little video here to give people who are maybe like me coming from a 10 series card like this to a 30 series card like this and s let them kind of see what the direct comparisons are so that if you were considering this kind of upgrade path i think you'll like it i think you're going to be pretty happy now to to kind of preface all this these benchmark tests that i'm going to show you here in a minute um this 1070 i was expecting to have this one for quite a while so i said you know what maybe what i'll do is i'll, I'll treat it right i'll uh i popped this bitch open um i applied some brand new fresh thermal paste to this and my temperatures were really good and i spent about four hours just slowly overclocking this thing as best as i could get it to the point where it was stable in most titles so this is like at least from my own perspective the best condition that this 1070 has been in uh, since I purchased it. Um, brand new thermal paste, tons of cooling with my case over there. I have a, a, like an absurd amount of fans in that case. Um, this thing in most titles was, I think, peaking at like 58 degrees Celsius, almost 62. Uh, so it was staying nice and cool. Um, so this is, these comparisons are going up against the best condition I could get my three or four year old 1070 in. And the 3060 Ti, as you can see, dual fan design, uh, not nearly as many fans built into it, but a brand new card. And gosh, the 
the performance really is good guys so um i haven't gotten my hands on cyberpunk yet at the time of filming this it's not out yet um so i'm gonna try and roll these benchmarks and cyberpunk might be on there but here we go So yeah, as you can see from the benchmarks, I'm fairly happy with these results. I, I think they look um, great. I think a lot of my titles that I can play now, I can just 1440p, set it to max settings and everything is playable. Like the, I don't have any issues with it. And then you add in all the um, NVIDIA broadcast tools that come with the 30 series cards, like the background noise elimination, some of the camera stuff is kind of cool. Um, so all in all, I think, if you're looking at upgrading and you want the best value, other people have shown this, the 3060 Ti, at least if you're going just by the reference card design from the price point, is one of the best frames per dollar cards that you can get right now. So I, I think if you get your hands on this, you're gonna be extremely happy. If you feel like waiting it out for a 3070 or a 3080, you're not gonna be upset with either of those because there is performance benefits to be had there. I just think that they start to, you start to hit that kind of, um, what do they call it? It's like a, uh, I don't I don't know what the fuck is the word. This is that COVID brain kicking in guys. Your return on investment, you start to see basically just a, a slow decline in, in terms of like if you were to get a 3080 versus a 3070 and 1440p and 1080 you, you, they were going to be really close i think in a lot of cases but it's where 4k on those cards kind of starts to really pull ahead and i think this is where 4k would probably have better frame rates for like a 3070 or something so um yeah great great words alex really nice so anyways guys um yeah 3060 ti gets a thumbs up from me i'm i'm pretty happy with it uh if you want to know more if you have a question that i didn't answer in the video uh because this is not like a super in-depth gamers nexus type review this is just my own first impressions and thoughts uh let me know i'll try my best to answer to you um you can follow me on twitter and i'll, I'll try to help you out there too if you got questions um come subscribe over to this channel if you want to see more dumb shit like this uh come subscribe over to our channel the buddy system where we make gameplay videos and podcasts and uh if you you know if you want to see something else that i can maybe try and do let me know but other than that guys this this is just a quick little rundown quick comparison 1070 3060 ti i think you're gonna like it so have a great day uh be nice to one another and stay safe and we'll talk to you soon bye